In this video, I will teach you how to solve problems involving uh, rational expressions. So, for example, we have here, Louis can paint the wall in 6 hours, while Nathan can do this in 4 hours. How long will it take them to paint the wall if they work together? So, first, we use variable a variable to represent the time, since you, that is your uh, problem. So, let x be the time in hours, okay? Because your given is in hours. Okay, so what we're going to do here is to write expressions for Louis and Nathan. Okay, so for Louis, he can paint the wall in 6 hours. So, if you are given a time... So, Louis can paint the wall in 6 hours. So, that will be 1 over 6. 1 sixth of an hour. Whereas, in Nate, for Nathan, he can paint the wall in 4 hours. So, that will be 1 fourth of an hour. So, since they will work together, we, we can express it as 1 over 6x. They will work together, so the operation is addition. If they will work together as 1, you will equate it with 1. Okay? Now, what we're going to do here is to um, make the whole ex equation with no fractions. So, we will look for the LCD of 6 and 4. So, looking for the LCD of 6 and 4... The prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Fa prime factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So to get the LCD, we take this, 2, then the other factors, 3 and 2. So with this, we have 12. So 12 will be your LCD. So what are we going to do with 12? We will multiply both terms by the LCD. So, we will multiply both terms by the LCD of 12 to eliminate the fraction form. So, with this, we just simply multiply the LCD by the numerator only. So, 12 multiplied by 1 is 12 over 6x. Plus, multiply 12 by 1, we have 12 over 4x equals 1 multiplied by 12 is 12. Okay, on this part, we will divide this. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2, then x, plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. So, we have 3x, then copy 12. Okay, so since they are like terms, we can add both. So, I will write it here. 2 plus 3 is 5, then copy x. 5x equals 12. Since your target is time, which is x, we have to eliminate this by dividing both terms by 5. So, why both terms? Because this is an equation. So, what you do on the left side must be also done in the right side. So, dividing both by 5, since your, five is, since your numer numerical coefficient here is 5, cancel this out. So, you are left with x, then 12 over 5. So, this will be your answer. So, 12 over 5 hours. So, how are you going to, to visualize it? So, in order for you to visualize it, you divide 12 by 5. So, if I divide 12 by 5, that means... written as 2 hours and 2 and 2 fifth hours. So what do you mean by 2 fifth of an hour? So 2 fifth of an hour is actually uh, 24 minutes. Okay? So why is that? Um, how are we going to identify the minutes for 2 over 5? So what you're going to do is to just to just to visualize the minutes, okay? So actually this is your final answer since you're given here is our okay. So just to visualize what two over five
five is in an hour. So this is in hour. So there are um, sixty minutes in an hour. So multiply it by sixty. Okay. So in this, if you multiply this two, that will be one twenty. And if you divide one twenty by five, so let's divide one twenty by five. That will be two, then ten, then twenty. That will be twenty. Okay. So there, there are twenty-four minutes. So two hours and twenty-four minutes, to be exact. So you can write two and two fifths, or you can also have two minutes, a uh, two hours, and twenty-four minutes. So if Louis and Nathan will work together. They can finish painting the wall in 2 hours and 24 minutes.